Hi guys, this is Nashit, and in this video, we will talk about third round of French Open. And uh, first, we will talk about Djokovic. And if you are noticing that uh, I am speaking in English, and and I am trying to speak in English frequently, frequently, fluently. Okay. So Djokovic Djokovic match was uh, with uh, Brankis, and uh, there is nothing to talk about Djokovic. like uh, jokovic is looking in very very silky kind of form and i think jokovic played a tournament before this tournament french open and uh, that is helping him in playing a better kind of tennis a cleaner type kind of tennis on clay and absolutely he is in great and fantastic form his serve is working very good his forehand is working very good i have talked to you earlier uh, in the second review second round review video that uh, the first strike game of jokovic is looking better uh, uh, better uh, as the tournament progresses and uh, in the yesterday match uh jokovic uh, won 88% of his first serve points that's amazing that's mind boggling man and uh, this kind of stat will jok of jokovic i am sure that it will help him and give him confidence for this tournament and uh, i am very happy with jokovic performance and uh, in the quarter finals i have predicted that jok Roger Federer will lose to Berrettini, but the kind of Roger Federer is playing, the kind of tennis he is playing, he is like playing or just doing some dog fights, man. And the match against uh, Kolfer, it's like uh, nobody is in the crowd, and uh, it's like a silent. the whole philip shatrie was nobody only coaches and linesman and balls boy and the players and the umpire that's it and nobody no crowd is there and uh, i don't know what uh, french tennis federation is doing that roger federer is playing with no crowd it's like i don't know uh, why you are putting him that kind of situation he is like a superstar i am also saying that novak djokovic and rafael nadal doesn't deserve like no crowd and uh, i think roger federer was not playing that great because nobody is there the confidence is very low he he have to hype him up and uh, a few weeks ago when he lost to Pablo Pablo Andujar in Geneva Open he said that uh, he is being rushed he is being rushed because he is uh, not uh, comfortable with uh, no crowd and uh, if uh, the crowd is present he will get to like do his towel thing do his ball thing but the no no crowd is there so he is being rushed up he said that in a press conference that's why i am mentioning that and uh, the night session is like uh, very damp so the ball is slow uh, on the day time the ball is ball is fast playing fast that's why roger federer daniel medvedev was also saying that uh, ball is playing very fast but if daniel medvedev um, is uh, when daniel medvedev is going to play in the night uh, night session that will be a very very big problem for him i think because uh, the damp uh, situation and the ball is is playing very very slow in ten, in nights night and uh, the golfer was like uh, not playing that great that roger feder was uh, like uh, the match was very intense and roger federer got to play and just into the dog fight and won that fight won two of the three tie breaks i am very happy with tie break performance of roger federer because i think uh, it's like uh, after 20, uh, 2015 or 16 he is not playing very great in tie breaks so 
that's why and uh, in my mind like novak djokovic wimbledon final was like tie break um, i don't know but uh, in the whole match uh, wimbledon final match i thought i and i think that roger federer was the better player but novak djokovic won the three tie breaks in that match and won that match so roger federer will play in the fourth round against baratini and the uh, next match i will talk about is cameron nori versus rafael nadal and uh, i am not saying but i am saying that uh, nadal is playing very good that he always plays in the roland garros tournament that's why he won 13 times and going for 14 times but cameron nori was a problem in the second set that uh, i was watching but uh, nadal is nadal and he won that match and uh, he won the first and third set very very easily so he will play yanik sinner in the third round sorry fourth round and uh, if you remember last year yanik sinner played in real roland garros in french open against nadal and that match was a very competitive match and uh, nadal is like uh, no joking he is saying that uh, Yannick Sinner is the future that uh, we all know that of uh, tennis because he is a very great player and he is Italian Berrettini Yannick Sinner and Musetti and Musetti is playing Djokovic he won Musetti won five setter with Cecchinato Cecchinato is also Italian and Italian sin is everywhere in the French Open and uh, that's a very good thing for Italy as a tennis country but uh, sorry for uh, we indians that uh, nobody is in 128 draw india so i already talk about the three great men's tennis players of this generation of tennis and uh, let's talk about like the other players and uh, chechenato mosetti uh, match of third round was like five set first grand slam for mosetti and he won his first fifth setter of grand slam of his career and the match was like a showboating kind of thing and mosetti is like a very crafty and very beautiful kind of uh, tennis player i don't know uh, about uh, what he will win a grand slam or he will contend for a grand slam or he will ever be a top 10 player but he is a very beautiful kind of very crafty kind of player that i can say and novak djokovic and brankis like novak djokovic very easy peasy kind of match baratini versus kon that was also a baratini master class and then kolfer versus roger federer that i already talk about to fourth round novak djokovic versus mosetti and baratini versus roger federer and uh, i already talk about nadal versus cameron nori and yanik sinner versus imer so Nadal will play Yannick Sinner in the fourth round. Schwarzman versus Koshreiber. Schwarzman was uh, is was 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 uh, last year's semi-finalist. And uh, Alcaraz versus Ustroff. Alcaraz is like a uh, youngest player, I think, in the men's draw. And uh, he lost to Ustroff, but uh, Nadal will play Sinner in the fourth round, and Schwarzman will play. Istrof in the fourth round. So the quarter final Nadal versus Shawsman can can be. And uh, next we will say Alexander Zverev, the fifth. He won in three sets, man. Oh my God. There's Dery. Uh, I cannot pronunciate his name. He is from Serbia. Larso Dery uh, versus. Um, Zverev and uh, Nishikori versus Lassenen. Lassenen was uh, retired, so Alexander Zverev versus Nishikori will play in the fourth round, and it's a night session match. So Zverev can lose. Just uh, see and see that match. What will happen in the match? Because I think Nishikori is pumped up because he didn't play five set match in the third round. and uh, zverev will will have to be pumped up more because uh, i think um, sorry alexander zverev uh, 
needs uh, a adrenaline kind of rush to play a great match and uh, this match can be competitive very very competitive very very interesting very very i think uh, it will go five rounds so you should watch this match and rude versus third round uh, i already talked uh, in the last because i am very 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 sad rude lost to uh, fokina and fokina is in the fourth round with he will play delbonis delbonis won third round against fognini and fognini if you think that uh, in this current era top 10 talented player fognini have to be there but it's a shame tisti pass uh, played isner tisti pass won in the fourth set that ma- match was like a very good so it's like a a very good test for uh, tisti pass that he passed so he moved to the fourth round and play play busta busta won against very easily with uh, Steve Johnson Steve Johnson is in, in the third round I am surprised because uh, I'm not remembering uh, after covid that uh, Steve Johnson has played a very good tournament uh, in anywhere in the world so that's why I am very surprised and uh, Garin played a fourth setter with Giron third round and Opelka versus Medvedev <laughs> Opelka Opelka lost in three set and uh, uh i hear that uh, medvedev broke opelka sir four times in that match medvedev is playing like a like a hell lot of playing like a very good very good uh, tennis play tennis and he is very confident i saw he said in uh, and listen uh, in uh, an interview that uh, he thinks that uh, this year french open because of the surface and the new balls uh french open is playing faster than some hard court uh, tennis hard court tennis hard court tennis so uh, the next challenge in the fourth round is medvedev versus christian garin and uh, i am not sure that medvedev will win versus christian garin but if he will win he will play in the quarter finals against tsitsipas and that will be a very good match i am looking forward to that match and let's talk about some women tennis so in the women in the women tennis uh, so in the women tennis i will talk about a little bit less because uh, i didn't follow that a very thorough kind uh, so in the women's uh, azarenka is very looking very very good but madison keys he won the match of the thir- third round match was like madison keys versus azarenka and uh, azarenka won 6 2 6 that's a shame for madison keys because he's a very good she is a very good player but uh, i don't know uh, where sh- her minds at uh, because uh, she is a very very good player and uh, she is a finalist of uh, us open um, in 2017 or 2018 uh, serena williams won third round match against uh, daniela collins and 6 4 6 but the match was like very competitive i saw a little bit of that match and uh, serena williams is also look was very good but dalian collins lost that match but she was playing very good and uh, cory goff uh, against brady uh, cory Go- goff gets a walk over because brady gets hurt in that match i don't know what happened but uh, cory goff is in in the fourth round of grand slam and that's not a surprise because she's a very talented a very gritty kind of woman she is a girl but she is a woman and uh, i see a very brave kind of uh, woman she plays like a very gritty and very passionate kind of uh, very professional kind of tennis and shontek won against kontavit and the first set was like very very good i saw that match because i saw a, 
uh, I thought that when I opened my computer to watch that match, I will watch a game if. Uh, it will be interesting um, then i will see the whole match but i the game was like amazing i saw the first set and the second set was 6-0 the first set was one of the best set um, i saw yesterday and uh, then i will talk about sutilina sutilina uh, krichukova uh, won against sutilina Sutil i don't know man sutilina uh, when she will win a grand slam um, Pliskova, Svitolina, I don't know. Uh, On Jabbar won her match against Linnit and uh, she will play in the fourth round. On Jabbar versus Cory Goff. That will be a very good test for Cory Goff. And if uh, Jabbar won uh, that match, she will be, I think, first time in the quarterfinals of a Grand Slam. And Sakari won a match against Mertens and uh, that was a match uh, very competitive kind of match so Kenin also won against Pegula and Stephens against Muchua so I am uh, today I am if you want to know what I am thinking about women's tennis and uh, who are playing like who can be in the finals I think Shwantek uh, and Stephens and uh, Azarenka and Kori Goff these are the four players that I think uh, they, they are playing like a very 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 high quality and high quality tennis so thank you for watching thank you for listening and I will see you in the next video in the fourth round review bye take care be healthy